Hi guys, my name is James, aka Furry K. Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I decided I'm gonna do why anime is why manga is better than comic books. Um, the reason I'm gonna say this is not to rile up any groups. You know, like oh, you know, manga is way better. Oh no, comics is way better. The reason I'm doing this is because it's actually a very it was kind of boggling my mind of the idea of doing this because I thought it'd be interesting to do. Now, everybody's gonna be like, oh well, manga is just the same as comics, like what's really the difference? Huge difference actually. Well, not really, but there's, first off it's Japanese, secondly, there are more companies, um, thirdly, there's more variety, you know, to characters. And there's different categories, unlike comics, where they kind of stick to the same narrative. Oh, this person got superpower through this, this, mythical, this. Um, and plus, a lot of the mangas start out and lead to animes, certain animes or certain shows. Now, I know DC Comics is starting to pull the whole CW, taking CW and putting, like, DC Comics into like shows and stuff like that, but they are way behind first off and they're putting them in a live action series instead of like cartoons and they didn't start putting in the cartoons until like late when manga was pop when manga anime and stuff like that were already popular and they were kind of already behind on that with DC um but I'm gonna tell you why uh, manga is better than anime, I mean manga is better than comics. First off, there's not really a monopoly like we see with uh, the comic universe. That's going to be one of the many things that I have to see with um, the comics. You have the MCU, you have, uh, I think it's like, I forgot it, something horse, horse something. Um, now don't get mad at me if I don't know. I know I'm pronounced it correctly, but I don't remember the name exact. My brother does. I know. Um, you got DC Comics. Those are the three big ones. And there's no really, like, different company that's really big. Well, you have, there are many creators and different companies that make mangas that everybody can share the same creativity in some way without there being one company that, uh really is a um has really a monopoly on it and so while yes anime wise there is a monopoly there's Funimation and Crunchyroll but there's also Kiss Anime as well um and the many other streaming services that stream anime like Hulu and Hulu and everything else and anime is able to make itself more known into these different streaming services instead of being locked down to this one streaming service like Disney is. Disney's got the whole MCU, Disney, and uh, I think Cartoon Network has DC and everything like that. And so really that area has been more of a monopoly on the whole, you know, comic scene. While manga has many companies it can work with and many branches it can reach out to. Um, I think that's the one big thing, bet difference between comics and manga. Um, another big thing I would say for mangas versus comics is probably the whole idea that the category thing. There's slice of life, there's shonen, there's... Uh, etchy, there's adult or uh, mature comics, uh, and there's, I forgot the other categories, I'd have to pull up the other categories, but there are more categories for anime than there are for comics in like the comic universe, like DC and stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong, Walking Dead, you got Walking Dead comics, which go into mature tones. Um, but the problem is, some animes, they actually go into the mature comics, into the mature parts, while a lot of the times, the anime, the comics universe, they, 
keep it toned down to keep it PG-13 for the kids. Except for like maybe Deadpool or X-Men or Wolverine. Well, I think Wolverine was the last movie besides Deadpool 2 and 1. Which actually did the comics some justice. Um, but not all the justice. Um, while animes sometimes will follow their continuity, animes tend... And anime and manga tend to follow their continuity more right. Um, comics in like say DC, MCU, or uh, whatever company that Walking Dead is owned by, which Robert Kirkman makes the comics, while well, there's another company that owns the comics and puts the comics out in which we get a Walking Dead TV show. Um, they really do not follow their continuity. Now, yes, do they follow continuity sometimes? Yes, but it's very rare that you'll see that with, like, uh, the episode at the end of season. Now, if you haven't not seen season nine's mid-season finale, where, first off, Jesus gets killed, and then there's the head pikes. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, now... With this being said, I don't see any problem with not following continuity and continuity not being a thing, you know, to keep it PG-13 for the kids. I think I've seen a ton of animes where they do actually follow the continuity of the comics. Now, some animes, they do it a lot more than the, I would say, comic community does over manga community. The manga community, they do it to a huge extent and they work it out with companies that want to put their show on air you know now with animes and mangas I mean in mangas they tend to put more emotion into their stories now this is not any warning this is not anything to like say oh well, Stan Lee never put any good into his comics Stan Lee knew how to write a story and knew how to write it well I'm not going to say Stanley did not do a good job because he is he was one of my inspirations to write books was through his comics um and to write some of my characters um so I will leave the MCU out of this but I will start looking at more of the DC side DC is mature hugely mature hugely mature on comics hugely mature on you know content and I think they need to, I think they need to push the envelope a little bit more. That's probably why so many people don't want to go see DC movies anymore is because DC comics in movies do not want to push the envelope for what they make, you know? And I'm not saying, you know, show like murder or something like that. I'm saying you need to... You know, push the envelope a little bit more, you know, not saying like, oh, show a woman. I mean, clothing does not matter to me. Oh, hody toady, some chick has like a cleavage showing. That does not count for me. Like, it does not, you know, interest me. That's kind of just eye candy for guys. I mean, for me, I think it's more of a action sequence is blood. I don't think I've seen one D. I don't think I've seen one like DC movie where they show like blood or they show like a huge amount of violence in it. Like, um, tops. Um, almost know what you're doing. Oh, I'm making a YouTube video. Ah. Um. For the comics, they really... And so, for the comics, they really don't push the envelope DC-wise. MCU, MCU can't, and I'm going to say they can't because, you know, Disney, Disney kind of has them on a short leash of what they can push. And... So they're supposed to be more kid-oriented and more kid-friendly. While DC has all of this, you know, they have all of this freelance 
to make good movies and make them more violent while they don't use it, you know? They don't use it, and then when they do use it, it's crap. I mean, oh, Superman snaps, uh, what's his name's neck at the end of, uh, at the end of Man of Steel, okay? That's like the one time man, in like any Superman movie, Superman kills someone, okay? That's not that exciting. Now, I do like what they're doing is they're bringing uh, Brightburn. Brightburn is a very interesting story. And if they play their cards right, they could really turn Brightburn into a good, good series. I mean, it could be a great story. Um... And if they do it right and they don't mess it up because they're going to be held back by somebody, um, then, yeah, I think it'd be good, you know? I like, I like comic movies as much as anybody else, but I think the comic movies have really gone downhill since Disney started buying up companies. I think Disney has ruined the comic scene, and just like with Star Wars, they've ruined it. They... They don't know the material, they don't ever read over the material, and then when they do read over the material, they don't want to make it canon, <clears throat> Star Wars. Uh, so it just kind of just upsets me a little bit. Um, it's weird, you know? But with manga, manga tends to like to take it a little bit over the edge and put, push the envelope, make jokes. Yeah, it's more perverted and more twist the guy jokes, but... They, t they don't put, they don't like, you know, say, oh, ha, 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 you know, murder, murder, murder. They have shows like Another, they have shows like, like a lot of the Gundam shows, they show blood a lot, and they show people dying, especially in like, I can name a t like one or two animes off the top of my head where they show murder, a kill a kill, uh, they show in an Another, they show it in, uh, what's it called? Dang, I'm trying to think of the show off the top of my head. It's on the tip of my tongue, I know, but. Cowboy Bebop, they show people getting shy. Uh, Black Lagoon uh, is another good one. They're a good example of people getting murdered and them showing it, well, except for the end final episode um another good one is banana fish banana fish was a i know a lot of people kind of were upset at the ending where it wasn't a happy ending but if you think about it i don't know if people were happy or sad about it like if they thought it was upsetting or not because sometimes people on the internet they get upset and then they like they're like oh no it's it's bad um i'll do a review on banana fish in my next video um, but yeah, guys, this is my kind of, like, my point of view, why I think manga is better than comics. If you guys want to make your own videos and send them to me, I, uh, and hit at me on Twitter at your videos of why you think comics are better, or you think comics are more proficient at being well-designed than manga, I will gladly watch them, and... Think, say what I think. I hope to see you guys in the next video. I love you. And the video will be up in exactly maybe an hour or two. So, goodbye.